Hey everyone, it's the narrator here and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if your day is over, well, I hope it was a great one. And just letting you guys know if you enjoy the clear and concise explanations, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Now onto the topic at hand, two big name streamers have been banned today, Zero and Hashinshin. However, their cases seem to be a little bit different from one another, with Zero having his Twitch account suspended for an unknown amount of time according to Esports Insider Slasher. The move from Twitch to suspend his account comes from the allegations of sexual misconduct towards minors which he came out and admitted was true and if you want a more thorough explanation of what happened then I'll leave a link in the top right which will take you to my video on the situation. It should also be noted that Zero has deleted all tweets on his Twitter account and has not yet released a video addressing the situation on his YouTube like he promised. So Hashinshin's case seems to be a tad different though, again according to Slasher, an official report from a victim made to Twitch has resulted in his account being permanently banned from the platform. The ban comes after recent allegations of grooming made by a user by the name of Katie Omeya. And again, if you would like to view what exactly happened, then I'll leave a link on the top right hand side of this video. So as Slasher stated, it seems like the victim submitted an official report to Twitch which resulted in his ban, but it has yet to be determined whether or not the victim approached Twitch first with the intention of getting him banned or if Twitch approached the victim. So this also comes from mounting pressure from various high profile streamers like I Will Dominate, who has been super vocal about his stance on Hashinshin calling him a pedophile over Twitter, or Voiboy who has came out in support of the victims and also calling Hashinshin a pedophile, and also Yasuo who has followed the same trend of outing Hashinshin as again a pedophile over Twitter. And for those naysayers out there wondering if the messages between himself and the victims were real, Hashinshin took to Twitter himself yesterday to confirm that he did engage in inappropriate conversations with underage girls, going as far to mention the girls themselves in tweets and acknowledge that their stories are real. Hashinshin also put out two tweets of his own saying that he will earn forgiveness and won't carry a grudge against anyone for anything they say now, and basically confirming that the ban is indefinite and how he regrets giving some of his money away, but he he will survive and be back to having you guys hating having him on your team one day. And as of now, nothing has been confirmed on what either of these streamers are going to do. However, I believe that they both will continue posting on YouTube in the near future, as it seems like they have very little going for them in terms of real world experience outside of streaming and content creation, because let's be honest guys, this has been their lives for many, many years, and it'd be very hard to give up the amount of money that they make on YouTube in terms of ad revenue. So you guys, that's the video done. Um, so my channel is dedicated towards giving you all clear and concise information regarding events trending in the gaming world right now. No 15 to 20 minute ramblings giving hot takes that could be done in 5 to 10 minutes. So please consider subscribing and liking the video if this is something you're interested in. Cheers.